So this one is called a low cut or a high pass filter. Yeah, audio engineers are weird and they make up two words for the same thing so they can feel more important. Did you know that we have 15 free AUV3 plugins here in iOS that anyone can add? We do. And if we come in here to our plugins and EQ, go to plugins and EQ here and hit edit and hit plus. What we can do is go into audio unit extensions. Now this is where we have all of these different extensions. But if you scroll down to the bottom, all these ugly looking orange ones, you might be thinking, what are they for? When would I ever use those? Well, the ones that I use quite often are actually these ones here, the high pass filter and the low pass filter. What is a high pass and a low pass filter? To demonstrate these, funnily enough, I'm gonna show you using LRC5. So LRC5, which is this one, which is our EQ plugin, this will give us the best indication of this. So a low pass or a high pass filter basically reduces and removes all of the frequencies below or above a frequency. So the reason that I, I'm gonna show you this and not just use these, is you can see here that these are rolled off like that. So we can see that the frequency at this one, uh, what is that? Oh, hang on, go away. There we go. So if we hold that, look in the bottom right there, you can see that we can put this at say 100 hertz. So that is 100 hertz. So anything below 100 hertz, anything in this bassy range is going to be removed. We can then do the same at the top here. So this one is called a low cut or a high pass filter. Yeah, audio engineers are weird and they make up two words for the same thing so they can feel more important. That's what it's all about. So that could either be a low cut or a high pass filter. I wish they'd just call it low cut. High pass filter just means everything above, everything higher than 100 hertz will be let through. Everything below that will be removed. So so that you can hear what this sounds like we've got this on this rock organ so what we'll do is we'll play it and then i'll bring oh, got both of those selected now <laughs> put this one back up we'll grab this high pass filter and we'll bring it down and what you'll hear is we can actually remove some of those low end sounds and you can see how when we move it up it's removing, so when we go right up to here, it's removing everything below like 15,000 hertz, 10,000 hertz, 5,000 hertz. So if you've got too much low end, you can add this in and you're gonna get just the high end here. As we bring it down, it's getting rid of all of those. So this can be good. As I was saying uh, earlier in the show, if you're getting some of that rumble and that low end, say you're recording your vocals and you're hearing like traffic noise outside, uh, a low pass, a high pass filter, see I'm getting confused, can actually be really good because all you do is just bring it down like that, dial in say anything under 100 hertz because there's nothing under 100 hertz in your actual human voice. So any of this noise down here is not gonna be required. So you can remove that and it can clean up your audio. The same thing works at the top end here with a, <laughs> God, I keep getting the words wrong now, high cut, a low pass filter. We can do the same thing here. We can just reduce it down and this is gonna take off. So you can you hear how that organ sounds a bit harsh? We can actually hit the play button here, bring that down, remove a lot of that treble sound, yeah? Right down to the bass. So the LRC5 is good for this sort of stuff, but it's gonna use a reasonable amount of processing power. The reason that I recommend if you're doing just a low pass or just a high pass filter using these ones is they use virtually no processing power and they're a one and done plugin. Sometimes it's cool to have those multi thing plugins. Sometimes it's cool to have something that does one thing and does it really well. So in this case, we want this high pass filter. We just add that one on here. Let's turn off LRC5 and come in here. Now all you've got here is your cutoff frequency. So this is why it's super simple. We can do the same thing here. Let's start right down here and we'll bring it up and you'll hear it does exactly the same thing as we were doing on LRC5. <laughs> so the reason we might add this is say we wanted this cut off at like 300 hertz to make sure that our kick drum and our uh, bass guitar can be heard, that none of those frequencies below there in this organ that may just be there by accident are being heard. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that there. We can then do the same if we wanted. So again, we had that harshness at the top end. We can actually add the low pass filter here. So again, 
called low pass because everything lower than that will pass. This too shall pass, and so shall the low pass filter. So we grab our low pass filter on here, and we can do the same thing. This time, it's the top end. So everything below a certain frequency is gonna be filtered out. So let's go back to the start here and, and do this one. There you go. So we can tame that low end and that high end just using these. Now again, yep, you can just use your EQ, you can use LRC5, you can use a separate EQ plugin, but again, because these are native iOS plugins and they're right here in your DAW, then they are a good choice if you just wanna do a simple thing like this.